All righty, welcome back. Let's get things rolling after this morning. Over in Eagle River, the drizzle has backed off for the time being, but we'll be watching for a little bit more drizzle and a lot of cloud cover today. It'll be practically impossible today for the sun to come out, but if it does, we'll be lucky. If not, which is more the case, we're not really going to be seeing it for a while. But otherwise, though, Marshfield to Rhinelander, seeing some spots of fog this morning. Looks like we're backed off just a little bit in Eagle River and in Lando Lake. So areas of dense fog developing this morning in a few spots, and of course, the drizzle on and off as well. Now, the rain is dragging off towards the east now, so that's some good news to report. We're really starting to back it off, allowing the soil to so soak up all that moisture it got yesterday. And it's really backed off over the last several hours. Here's the radar from a few hours ago, and we did have some rain with that, and it's really tracked off towards the east. So we're done with the accumulating rainfall until tomorrow before another one to two inches of rain will move back into the picture. And of course, fanfare yesterday as well. Look at all this, though. Again, some hail reports being reported across parts of Marathon County and our parts of Wood County as well. The Adams County report did pop off the map, but they had some hail reported yesterday as well. And across parts of Oneida County as well, some hail reports. In the McNaughton area, though, a lot of hail on the ground, enough to where it looked like snow on the ground. So a lot of hail definitely being reported across the viewing area, and some of it reached up to two inches in diameter at times. But let's zoom things out and give you the bigger picture, though. And again, low pressure continues to track off towards the north and east. A lot of rain in Illinois now as low pressure continues to track through. We'll be watching for more rounds of rain for us as we head towards tomorrow where another one to two inches of rain could occur. So future cast for today, pretty much a dry day, or dry day today. Just some clouds and I'll be about it overall and some areas of drizzle as well. Once we head towards tonight, though, again, the rain starts back up yet again. And throughout the day, Thursday, plenty of rain showers possible, especially during the afternoon period. Once we head towards Thursday night and parts of Friday morning, again, notice things starting to back off. A few more showers possible, but that'll be about it. As for the rainfall, nothing too meaningful to say. The accumulating rainfall is pretty much done for the day overall. But once we head towards tomorrow, then things change. Another one to two inches of rain will, will be possible before we're all finished up. Locally, higher amounts cannot be ruled out in a few spots. Gusty winds in a few spots, reaching up to around 50 miles per hour today as well. We'll back off a little bit this afternoon. For tonight and tomorrow, a few gusty winds up to 15 miles per hour. Not be about it. So the winds won't be a huge deal, but a few gusts will not be out of the question. But temperatures right now are in the 40s across the Northwoods. Rhinelander at 49 degrees, 47 degrees in Eagle River, 46 degrees in Manitowish waters. And we have upper 50s to lower 60s in a few spots being reported further down to the south where a front's currently parked across the region as we speak. But our average high temperature is now 50 degrees. We'll do the middle 50s today. Upper 50s as we head towards Thursday and also into Friday. Then we really cool off. Upper 30s for high Saturday. Middle 30s as we head towards Sunday. And lower 30s Monday to Tuesday. Definitely feeling like winter as we head towards the weekend and also into next week as these temperatures look to stick around. Morning showers stay otherwise mostly cloudy. Areas of drizzle out there as well with highs in the middle 50s and northeast wind getting up to around 5 to 15 miles per hour at times. Later on tonight will be mostly cloudy. More rain showers moving yet again. Our not so low temperatures in the lower 50s overnight. Now southeast wind at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few higher gusts cannot be ruled out. And for your Thursday, here we go. Rain likely though could be heavy at times. We'll have highs in the upper 50s and that east wind getting up to around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Northwoods furniture and mattress seven day forecast. Halloween's getting pretty close and man it's feeling like it already. We have rain moving in for the next few days with highs overall in the 50s but then we dry out Saturday mostly cloudy with highs in the upper 30s. We have middle 30s on Sunday with a slight chance for rain and snow showers as well. Monday we're dry and then Halloween next Tuesday. Here we go. Rain and snow showers possible. Temperatures remaining cool next week in the 30s.